All right, kind of a random video. Yeah, I had some time left, so what the hell, might as well use it. And uh, the weather is quite pleasant today, finally. Humid though, really humid. It's all that rain, rain, rain. Everything's wet and hot and steamy. Kind of like a woman's, oh, no, won't go there. At least not today. <laughs> yeah, hopefully in the future. Anyway, um, yeah, just generally speaking, Kind of disappointed with the quality of conversation here on the internets, the YouTubes and such. You know, the debates, uh, nobody's titling the videos, nobody's directing to the arguments, so that's kind of failed all over the place, but I'm going to keep doing it anyway. And, uh, yeah, you know, I don't know. This is, we're going to keep getting strangled by words. My last video, I think, was pretty much perfect. <laughs> you know, really nice, good argument. And, uh, you know, even the ratings were pretty lousy. And you're just like, what the hell am I talking for? <laughs> There's no point in talking to people. Uh, but anyway, I guess the thing that's on my mind a little bit, it's just this general subject. Like I said, there's these, these obstacles to people getting it. And the obstacle is, is that, yeah, they're going to find some fairy dust to, if they don't believe in God, then they believe in something else. And that's sort of just the way it works. Uh, whether they call it Gaia or DNA or cosmic forces or some other gooey bullshit. That's all it is, is gooey bullshit. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, as long as that's in their head, logic's not going to... The truth has no... So it has no defense against that crap. So, yeah, of course you're not going to get it. You're not going to get... That we're part of a insidious uh, zombie land of brutality and horror. I mean, life kills things. Get real. <laughs> you know, every, every living thing uh, gets killed and kills. I mean, there's a lot of killing. Uh, a lot of brutal, harsh, nasty killing. That's what life is. Life is more about death than living. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, there's a ton of death tied to life. Everything that lives dies. I mean, it's just a stupid. And it's going to keep getting glorified because people are just going to keep trying to puff up the word and uh, make it mean something. You know, it's flower. Pretty flower. Pretty flower. I mean, it's just, it's just retarded. Yes, we are uh, desirous, passionate beasts. So what? I mean, it's still what this is, is just stupid. Reproduction for no fucking accomplishment. So anyway, yeah, Thunderfoot made some sort of comment in his stupid idiotic interview thing. And he said something about, like, how, oh, it's the institutionalized religion that are the problem. And the irony was he said it after they had just gotten a phone call from one of those loopy, crazy Christians. You know, the ones who, oh, no, all the churches are evil. They're all run by Satan. And, but, oh, you know, and you're just like, oh, God, these people, these are the kind of people that microwave their kids. Um, so, yeah, it really doesn't matter whether they're part of the institution or not. The, the fringe religious are even wackier than the status quo institutional religious. Uh, you know, I get his point, though. Yes, okay, it's the institutional religious that do the homo bashing and this and that, uh, you know, on a broad scale. But yeah, it's all about just numbers. The crazies are even more homophobic. Uh, but yeah, there just aren't as many of them. So it's just about numbers, which is sort of obvious. Well, yeah, let's get rid of most of the religious. Yeah, well, whatever. Get rid of them how? Uh, but anyway, so it has nothing to do with the truth. It just has to do with, oh, I don't mind theism, you know, as long as it's not institutionalized. I don't mind theism. As long as it's poofy, you know, whatever, Barney the Dinosaur God, you know. So that has nothing to do with the truth. That's all disappointing. But yeah, they're just all over the place. I mean, I saw some video, some guy talking about his, how we have a cosmic aura and all this bullshit. And you listen to a Matt video and you're, you just want to pull your brain out and smash it on the floor. I mean, why? Why, you know? What the fuck's the point in talking to these crazy fucks? They just keep making shit up. Yeah, we have all these facts about all this chemistry. 
all how this energy and matter is interacting. And so, fuck the facts. They just go with the fable. Uh, because it feels better. It makes life easier. Uh, and so I get to most of that, you know, the economics video I did. And that stupid guy with the stupid name. I'm not even going to repeat his name. It's such a stupid fucking name. Um, I mean, what a retard. You have absolutely no credibility when you got a name like that, asshole. Uh, but, uh... Yeah, I mean, he's basically mocking the idea that somebody should give a shit about their role in society, about their effects on the future. And it's like, well, I have to explain that to you? I mean, I shouldn't even have to explain to people, uh, you know, that uh, they should have every ambition uh, to, to, uh, to whatever they do in this life, not to fuck the future up. I mean, that, that seems like a minor consideration. I mean, even that stupid little weasel asshole in those stupid Back to the Future movies seem to have some grasp of that concept. <laughs> yeah. But I guess that was all about selfishness, too, because, yeah, it's like if his future is shit, he'll fix it. If somebody else's future was shit, he probably wouldn't. So fuck him, too. Fuck everybody. Ooh, we have some wind. I don't have a Band-Aid on my camera. <laughs> I'm violating my own band-aid advice. Uh, so, whatever. Yeah, so I'm working on some shit. Somebody, you know, I, you know, I like the links. People have been posting some links on the toolbar -y thingy, and that's good. Because some of them are pretty damn good links. And somebody sent me a PM with some advice about maybe asking questions and question-answer thing to kind of distill people's opinions down. I think that's a good idea write up a survey of some kind, kind of get to the, the real, the real talking point, the real conflict in perception. So it's always going to come down to, like you could say, I'm anti-natalist. Somebody says, oh, I'm not. And the reason why they're not, more than likely, if they're intelligent, isn't because they disagree about evolution or disagree about this or disagree about that. It's because they have some sort of dopey notion that there might be some possibility that the spaghetti monster actually exists. That something actually does this on purpose. That this actually is accomplishing something because some brain somewhere, some intelligence said, uh, yeah, uh, let's play a incredible, let's play a game that just could, can only be called sadistic. That would be its name, sadistic. A sadistic asshole. That would be the name of the game. And that's what we are. We're, we're what happens when somebody presses the uh, play button on the game, Sadistic Asshole. Uh, yeah, it's fail all over the place, people. You <sighs> geek. I mean, damn it. I don't even want to go into it. Like, I just don't even know how you people have all escaped seeing horror. Because I've seen horror. <laughs> and it's horror that I, I wouldn't want to go anywhere near. Like, it's like radioactive horror. It's so fucking scary and spooky and disgusting and horrid that it, it uh, it's, it's like acid it's like acid Martian acid you know melt your skin oh so anyway speaking of Martian acid see that popped in my head because I watched this stupid movie last night stupid you know it's like the not the Tom Cruise version of War of the Worlds but apparently some other dopey version they made and the aliens are pretty cool. They're like big spiders or something. But, you know, they're spaceships. But it was the worst written movie ever. I couldn't... It was just so fucking stupid. The actors sucked. Ugh, it was just amazing that they made it. Uh, anyway. But they had acid in it there where they got... They got their skin melted off now and then. But anyway. Something has washed away the stepping stones. Ah, there's one. I can go fetch her it. Oh, my back is sore. Yeah. Maybe some other day. Oh. Yeah, my back sucks. Wet feet instead. Ugh. Yeah, just carrying this little bag of tools is, oh, hurts my back. <laughs> yeah. See, that's what life does. It just kills you slowly. Little bits at a time. So anyway, it's kind of, I don't know, not much going on. 
on YouTube. It's kind of meh, making me look for other pastures and such. But we'll see. Till next time.